It's time. Mac OS Sequoia has just been released. And you guys know I love to customize my MacBook and make sure that it is the most efficient and useful way to be able to use your MacBook. So today I'm going to re-customize my MacBook with the new updates and then show you all the new features that I think you really need to know about. <laughs> We're gonna customize it, so let's go ahead and get right on into it. All right, so we're just going to do a very fast customization because there's no actual new things that you can do, but I wanted to change and kind of theme my MacBook around the new update with the colors and stuff. So here's the background that is with the new update. Now I do like it, but I usually don't use the Apple new wallpapers, which let me show you the new ones real quick before we go and change things. Okay, first up, we have some new wallpapers and we're going to just do a tiny little customization themed around the new update. So first is this one that's supposed to kind of look like sequoia trees, very pretty but I don't know, they're usually not my style. There's also this new dynamic wallpaper where it has this really cool little techie background that moves and you can also change the color of that one. So there it is in red. I think the gray one looks really nice. That's, that's pretty cool, I will not lie. <laughs> and then we have a new nature ones, which this one actually is giving me some Twilight vibes, you know, the ah, ah, ah. <laughs> I'm not even gonna try to sing it. With the fog though, very, they, they know what they're doing. They're ready for fall, okay? They know everyone's gonna start the Twilight Rewatch. But anyways, I went ahead and made my own new wallpaper that I'm gonna change. This is available on my website if you guys do want to twin with me. Very fun, I'm trying to go for a little Apple theme here if you can't tell. So, we have this little message on it, which is fun. And now I'm going to change my app icons to this one. We're going to command A, command C, and then we'll right click, click get info, and command V. Hello. Okay, there we go. Okay, I'm going to change all this really fast. Okay, here's my customization for the new Mac OS Sequoia update vibes, trying to match kind of the branding and stuff. So I have two widgets from Widgetsmith on my phone. I set these up and we have a Steve Jobs quote and the classic hello from Apple. My content board, which is just helpful for me, this is from Notion. This is just from the clock app. And here, this widget is from iScreen, is app on your phone. So I did most of these off my phone and then just put them on my MacBook. My calendar, and then I have a sticky note here. Then I have my app folders, which are cute little Apple logos, again, matching the colors. And then my reminders list. I think it's pretty cute. I'm happy with how it turned out. Okay, well now that I've wasted my time customizing my MacBook to match a very cute Apple aesthetic, let's go ahead and talk about some of the new features and try them out with the new Mac OS Sequoia update. And you guys, I've been waiting to test this out until I was with you on camera. So let's try it out for the first time. Okay, what we're going to do is go down to our dock and you will see the iPhone mirroring icon here. Obviously, make sure that you are updated. That's a very important step to this whole process. Anyways, we're going to click on it. So it's going to give us a little guide here. Unlock the phone. So I just had this pop up to enable mirroring. All right, and just like that says, iPhone mirroring is ready to use. Oh, I have a nice little space right here. Oh, enter my Mac login now. So my phone has to be turned off. Got it. Okay, so right off the bat, it asks require Mac to log in to access iPhone. I'm going to just have it do authenticate automatically. It wants me to type in my password. Okay, there we go. My iPhone looks so cute on the screen. Oh my gosh. I can control the pages. Let's scroll Instagram. Wow. Wait, how do I get off this now? Help, how do I get off? Oh, okay. Click towards the bottom. Okay, I saw somebody posting about they found this hack where they opened up their Snapchats and they opened up a snap. So there's that good boy. They opened camera on their phone. Uh, okay, it shut off. I don't know, I mu they must have taken a picture from Maybe a different phone. Because I saw somebody do that and then they took a picture of it and they were like, this is a great new feature, but it obviously doesn't let you. So you might just have to have a different phone if you wanted to do that. And when I open it on my phone, it says, this phone is being used from Julia's MacBook Pro on my phone. I could text off of it, which is so fun. I already saw videos and pictures of somebody using their phone on their MacBook while in class. And so like they're sitting at college in a class watching their professor, but then they were like still texting stuff off their phone. It's going Instagram and TikTok. So curious to see how that will go with everything. Cause now you don't have to try and hide your phone like this. So that's nice. Okay, well, I'm excited to see what other uses people could come up with for the new 
iPhone mirroring. I know it's going to be helpful even if it takes a little bit of a learning and adjusting to figure out at first. Now next is a feature that I think is going to be very helpful. At least for me, I am always multitasking on my MacBook and have multiple tabs open at once and I'm always just dragging them to try and rearrange them to all be on the screen. But now there is tiling, which you can easily snap your little screens into place. So let me just show you. Okay, so I have a bunch of things open. And what I'm going to do is just hover over the green dot and you can see there's so many different options here. I have four tabs open though, so I'm gonna click this. Oh my gosh, and it automatically just does it. This might not be ideal because a lot of these, it got a little small. So I have my YouTube video going, my Pinterest and notes. Very fun, but I'm gonna, let's close out this one. Let's do three. <gasps> Now I can scroll Pinterest and watch my stuff and take notes over here. I'm very excited, let's see what other options. Oh, we can do some shifting. Okay, next up that's new, we also have the new passwords app on the MacBook. So it's locked, I have to enter my password to my MacBook. It says welcome. So it has all my passwords, Wi-Fi passwords, pass keys, all that good stuff. And then also, like let's say you have a shared Hulu or Netflix account with your family, you can also make that like a shared group with your family. So if you're like me and your sisters text you all the time asking for the different passwords to things, now they can easily just do it there. We also get the new calculator updates here where you can do different scientific programs, math notes, or conversions. So once again, very exciting updates going on everywhere for all devices. And then I don't really FaceTime off of my Mac, but there's this new little thing right here. So say hi to yourself, but you can do portrait mode, Studio light, wow. Reactions, on or off, okay, I love these. So fun, but then here's where it gets interesting. We can change the background now, so we can make ourselves purple. Okay, now it's showing me here. Pink, wow. Let's see what, okay, cool, awesome. So that's kind of fun, don't know if I'll be using this during FaceTimes with my friends, but if I'm ever on a professional FaceTime, maybe? But I don't know, most professional things are on other apps, but hey, still a fun feature. Okay, and then quite literally all the other amazing cool features that are coming out and that were announced, like having AI writing and filling in your emails for you or rewriting your emails for you from your emails app, and everything else that was announced at WWDC is part of Apple Intelligence, which isn't coming out for nobody actually knows, within a month or two, maybe? next month, hopefully. So that's all I got for you. I'm not going to sit here and waste your time with other random stuff because there are just a bunch of smaller things like this. So just wanted to highlight some of the new key features so that you knew how to use them and maybe we can brainstorm some fun uses for them together. I'll have this wallpaper and the new Apple icon on my website if you guys want to twin with me by chance. But yeah, that's all I have for you. Thank you so much for watching this video, even if there wasn't much to this update. And I will see you guys in my next one. Bye!